going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 25 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be giving you a final update on the best free 90 overall most fear champions to add to your month 25 squad let's go ahead and jump right on into it so part three of the promo drop today the final installment of the most fear promo and throughout this promo you have multiple opportunities to earn fear currency and you can use that fear currency in the fear store to open up up to two fantasy packs one bnd one non bnd that give you your choice of any of the 90 overall champions from the most fear promo so solo challenges you got the milestone rewards here this is one of many places that you can earn that fear currency playing through solo battles and solo seasons have packs that have fear cards in there that can give you that currency as well of course we have the mutt draft game mode which does require either 15,000 coins an entry ticket or fear currency itself to enter the more games that you're able to win in this game mode equals more free fear currency every time you at least get three wins in a single run you're gonna get 5,300 fear plus an entry ticket which essentially you know another way to get in again so if you can continue to win three games over and over and over again and obviously if you go above and beyond that it's going to be better payouts but you can get unlimited fear here and unlimited entry tickets to continue to go through this event you basically have about a week left on this one it ends on 11 7 a week from today and of course the final and probably most frequent place that you're going to earn that fear outside of buying cards and quick selling them which you don't want to do in this case because we're talking about earning these cards for free but if you go through the field pass, there's tons of fear collectibles within here. And every time you earn one of those, you can quick sell them. I believe when this promo initially started, and there's also daily objectives that you can knock out every day that will give you 1,400 fear. These dailies will continue up until November 7th. So you still got a week of those. When I originally counted, it was somewhere like 31, 32,000 fear that you could earn for free. And that was the assumption under the assumption that the daily objectives would end today. So you can definitely earn much more than that. And if you're able to do that, or when you're able to do that, you're going to head on over to the Fear Store, and you got two different packs, a non-BND and a BND pack. I've already opened up the non-BND one, which is 47,595. Fear to open that one up. The BND pack is going to be 21,620. So as we said, there's definitely enough free fear currency in the game to go through and open up this pack. So who are the best cards in this free fantasy pack? Let's go through them. We're going to start at the quarterback position. This is a brand new part three card that came out today. Basically at quarterback, you got Lamar Jackson. And you got Tom Brady that will be in this pack. And Lamar Jackson, without a doubt, is the best of the two options. The Tom Brady card actually isn't that bad. We'll have a card review on him coming out very soon, if not later tonight. Outside of him not having good speed, he's a very good pocket passer. He can make all the throws that you need him to make. Lamar Jackson has pretty similar passing attributes, but he also has 90 speed. So that makes him the clear-cut, easy choice when it comes down to the quarterbacks. I do think that the AKA Andrew Luck, either at the 90 or 91 overall level, are both going to be better than the Lamar Jackson. But Lamar has the speed. He's got 89 throw power. The accuracies are really good. The one pain point with this card is that he has the long audible animations. There's a few quarterbacks. Unfortunately, the Jalen Hurts team builder card that we're going to be getting on Saturday is probably going to have that. It happened with Patrick Mahomes. It happened with Matthew Stafford early in the year. So that's going to be a little bit of a nuisance. If you run a lot of stock plays, it probably won't bother you at all. I'm not saying that it makes this card not usable because if you need a quarterback, this is a great option here. I think there's only one QB in the game right now that's better than him. So great choice. Now we're going to skip over to wide receivers. We put out a video on the best cards to take out of this pack last Thursday. And EA surprised us on Monday with a couple extra drops. Two of those cards that came out on Monday were Darrell Revis and Randy Moss. And also with the leaks initially and when EA revealed the card, they had Moss at 89 speed. When he was in the game, they actually gave him 91 speed. And that makes him one of, if not the best wide receivers in the game before Jalen Hyatt comes out tomorrow, of course. So previously when we did this video, Jamar Chase was the go-to pick at wide receiver. That is no longer the case. It's definitely Randy Moss, 6'4", 91 speed, 88 catching, 88 short route running, 90 mid, and 90 deep. He's been a great deep threat on my squad. I've been using him since the day he came out. If you want to put him in the slot and put slot apprentice on him to get that zig route and that short crossing route, which are both really good against man coverage, you can go ahead and do that. Its ability is going to be 2AP if you want to assign it. 
I think he's better on the outside as more of a deep threat who's not going to be running short routes. But if you want to go that route, you certainly can. But all in all, he's the best wide receiver in this pack. Clear-cut choice there. But he's also one of the best cards in this entire pack out of everybody that we're going through. We're going to go over to the offensive line now. Trent Williams, and we'll talk about Will Shields here in a moment. Picking B&D offensive linemen is always a smart move. And whenever you make this decision, you want to think about the cards that are going to last on your team for the longest period of time. And going with offensive linemen, though it's not a sexy pick, it's not very exciting, this is something that can become necessary. Now, when it comes to Trent Williams, very good card. 87 strength, 87 awareness, 88 pass block, 91 run block. But a lot of you probably have the 89 overall Tyron Smith from the season two field pass at left tackle, which is also a BND. If that is the case, you're not going to want to waste your pick on Trent Williams. But if you need him for a theme team or you just need a better left tackle, not a bad choice. If you want to go another offensive lineman, you got Will Shields here. A lot of these cards prior to the part three cards and Randy Moss and Darrell Revis from part two and a half, we'll call it, are really inexpensive, like 300K and under. So you can even go out and buy a card like this that's going to serve a purpose for a very long time. But if you want to make him your BND pick, it's not a bad card at all. 89 strength, 91 awareness, 89 run block, and 90, or sorry, 88 pass block there. I would say at right guard, he's probably one top two at his position. Pretty good card, just not sexy. Now we're going to switch over to defense. If you're looking for some pass rush, there's a handful of defensive ends and a defensive tackle to choose from within this pack. I do think that the part three Von Miller card that came out today is your best bet 89 speed with 89 tackle 90 block shed 90 finesse move he is a little bit low on the strength i know that's always a big concern for me but i think he'll play pretty similar to the dwight freeney legend card that came out this past saturday with that combination of speed and finesse move and pretty good acceleration no abilities worth using on this von miller card but again just like the offensive side of the ball offensive linemen are great to invest in on these bnd cards Von Miller, defensive end, you can probably use this card even as a backup and occasionally substitute him in for pass rushing. He could stand the test of time on your roster as well if you're going to use him for a BND. And the final three cards are all going to be secondary, guys. So Cam Chancellor, if you need a sub linebacker slash user, he's your guy. 6'3", 90 speed, 91 hit power, 89 zone. If you want to play him as a high safety in coverage, he can do that as well because he's got the height, he's got the speed, he's got the zone coverage. You just want to avoid putting him in man coverage in most situations with that 77 man. But this card's really versatile because, again, you can play him at linebacker right now. You can move him to high safety if you get a new linebacker to use. I like this card. He's like the Swiss Army knife on defense. And if I answered this question last week, which I did in the video, on who's the best cornerback to take out of this pack, you got Jalen Johnson, you got Champ Bailey. I will say if you're a heavy zone covered scheme, you're probably still going to want to go with Jalen Johnson. Six foot even, 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 88 man, 91 zone. I mean, the 88 man is really good. He gives you a great press at 89 as well. All of the attributes are really good. He's well balanced, all of that. He just hasn't made any plays for me. I've been using him for basically a week now, and unfortunately, he just hasn't stood out. He hasn't been getting beat or burnt, and maybe when people aren't throwing his way, that's a good thing because they're usually covered by him but if you're just looking for a guy who's going to produce turnovers this card for me doesn't seem to do it but i also run man coverage about 90 percent of the time so if you like zone this still might be your guy if you like man coverage i do think champ bailey is the way to go his card is really down in price right now because we've seen a handful of 91 speed cornerbacks so it might be best to use your bnd pick on a different option but if you got some coin to spend champ bailey's not a bad pickup 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 91 man coverage, 90 press. His zone coverage is pretty low. So again, if you run a lot of zone, Jalen Johnson's your guy. If you run a lot of man, Champ Bailey's your guy. And those are going to be the best options right now until the end of it because this promo is over on the best free 90 overall champions for the most hero promo. Let me know what players you guys picked in your packs. Leave it down below in the comment section. And thank you for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.